Rain coming down because I finally did my planting. Oh, nice timing. I Very know. Nice timing. I waited until after Derby, like they say. Mm -hmm. Whoever they is, they always say. <laughs> <laughs> the they. I follow the, the rule. Up there, we know. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty nice uh, weather for planting. So getting some uh, water into the ground mm -hmm. would also be uh, pretty nice. Uh, but uh, it's not going to be as humid this week, thankfully. What, what do you think about any more soaking rains for Shay's plants and for the dandelions that love my yard <laughs> and, the, and the clover? <laughs> well, we could see a soaking rain tomorrow, which would also be good to hopefully give us a little bit of relief from the allergies. My eyes have been itching really bad, which makes me feel like I'm tired when I'm not actually, but I'm also always tired, so it's <laughs> so even, maybe either one is, is possible. We, we need to get you exercising some more. Oh, oh <laughs> Doug, trust we'll me, I exercise plenty. Uh, let's look at something your weather app isn't going to tell you. We do have a chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon around this time. Now, it's not going to be a widespread severe weather outbreak, and it would be somewhat narrow in scope. I'll show you the areas that are most likely to see some of that heavy rain and uh, strong thunderstorms here in just a second. Also, our sunsets will be after 9 p.m. in only a couple of weeks. The summer solstice is the fast approaching and then our days will start to get shorter. Here's a scope of that severe weather risk for tomorrow. It does not include Metro Louisville. It's south of I-64 and it's really even further south of the West Kentucky and Bluegrass Parkway. So from Washington County, Marion, Taylor, Adair, Green Counties, Hart County and LaRue County risk level two out of five. The main threats, the most concerning threats at least, would be damaging wind gusts and possibly some large hail, but we can't rule out some very heavy rain of course, and maybe an isolated tornado, but the environment just isn't quite as favorable for that. We have some very lightning rich thunderstorms in Tennessee right now. Those have started to weaken just a little bit, and even though there is some activity right there on the Mississippi River on the Kentucky and Missouri state line, that activity is going to be staying well to the south of us. So we'll be mostly cloudy and dry overnight, but tomorrow morning around 530, we'll be watching for a complex of thunderstorms to move along I-64 and begin to grow in scope as it makes its way to the I-65 corridor. So the morning rush hour tomorrow could feature some very heavy rain, but it's unlikely to be on the severe side, thankfully. Then it'll be drier for the midday hours, but we're going to have to see how much sunshine we get because more sunshine could mean more fuel for any of these afternoon thunderstorms that are starting to redevelop at 1 p.m. to feed off of. And it's as we head into the 3 to 6 p.m. time frame in particular, I believe, that we have that greatest risk of seeing some of those stronger thunderstorms. Maybe be a little bit more isolated in nature, and that's also where we would see possibly some very heavy rain and larger hail along with those stronger wind gusts. By 530 to 6 o'clock, though, we're already seeing that pushed out of the area. Skies will clear tomorrow night, and we'll be left with plenty of sunshine to go around Wednesday and Thursday. The midweek looking very comfortable. Overnight temperatures feeling a little bit cooler as well, so we can probably leave our windows open Wednesday at night, even Tuesday night, frankly. As as for rainfall, well, I do believe we'll see a somewhat narrow band of rain totals anywhere between half an inch to an inch and a half, possibly even a little bit higher than that. So it's going to be somewhat neighborhood dependent on whether or not you get that good soaking, as there will likely be some locations that only pick up about a quarter of an inch of rainfall or so. So we're not going to have widespread totals of an inch of rain that will be fairly narrow in scope. Here's that hometown forecast for tomorrow. Upper 70s, possibly even the lower 80s south of the parkways. That's also where that greater severe weather risk is not quite as warm to our north. Uh, temperatures only in the 60s because of lingering cloud cover will be in the middle 70s here in the metro. Looking very nice Wednesday and Thursday, but more rain chances return beginning on Friday and Saturday. Models try to point out Saturday is the day most likely to have rain, but I do have a uh, Saturday, Friday and Saturday in there as opportunities. Temperatures a little bit warmer there on Friday, probably a touch more humid as well, but overall all, this is a fairly typical midweek May forecast.